Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Pure Cut Creations. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be continuing our Disney series with part four. We're going to be making clock that is inspired by Alice in Wonderland, so let's get to it. So let me show you what we're working with. I have this piece of pine that is round that I got from a craft store near me. And I got some designs off the internet. Um, this one is designed by an artist on Etsy. And what I did was I added a few things. Let me show you how I put this together on this board and get it all stenciled out. So we'll be ready to carve. My goal is to carve this all out and then get a nice resin board and fill it in. So we'll see how that works. All right, so I finished outlining everything. Let's see how this looks once we remove this. <laughs> oh, this is why I love carbon paper so much. I think this is gonna be a really, really, really cool carving. <laughs> I like, my favorite part about this whole image is how Alice is like, is this a meme? <laughs> is this a clock? Let's get to carving it. So if you have been paying attention, more attention than I have. You may have a caught a small mistake that I made. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll just amplify it for you a little bit. Notice anything wrong in this area? Oh man, not a problem. We're gonna fix that. Starts about there, then we go. Whoop. 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 Starts getting a little 
thicker. this little O inside the D. There we go. I think this guy looks pretty nice. Alright, so admittedly this is a little weird to do in the middle of an episode, but welcome to a new shop. As you can see, we got much better lighting now. Um, and my desk is actually facing this way now instead of facing back towards this wall like it used to. There also used to be a big cork board here with a shelf up above. Um, that's all gone, so that way you can get a better look at me and my work that I do. So with that said, I hope this can be our new home for a little while. Alright, let's get to the carving now. The face has a lot of spots between uh, this softer wood and the harder wood. So it made it really, really difficult. I think I have it somewhat decent, but we'll see once I sand it down and finish carving it, how, how good it actually ended up. Pretty happy with how it's turning out so far. It's been a while since I carved on wood, so I really missed it. But. After carving some wood, it really made me appreciate glass because it's so consistent. Wood has these different densities which make it pretty difficult to carve. Um, the spots that are softer, your bit will dig in really easily, whereas the spots that are harder, uh, the bit kind of deflects off of it. It makes it really kind of janky to work with um that's one of the problems i was having with the face there because it's such a cluster of really really dense and really really soft woods it was really not a good choice to put the face there but um i think overall it's going to turn out well 
And luckily for this carving, I don't have to worry too much about how deep or how shallow it is, as long as it's deep enough to uh, get filled later on. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, don't forget to check out part two when we finish this carving. I can't wait to see how it's going to look at the end. Um, it's coming out so well so far. And um, I'm really excited to see what this clock looks like. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell for some notifications. Leave a comment if there's something you want to see. You could also check out my channel or watch another video. Also, if you really enjoy this series, feel free to hit the playlist over on the side. And as always, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.